guys, I'm going to give you a very quick sneak peek into billing reports. These are by no means final, but I know that this has been a great source of anxiety for you. So I want to show you just basically what it's going to look like. We're still doing some testing and building. So what I'm going to talk about is how to access the reports, how to favorite the report so you don't have to search for them every time, how to run the reports. And then now when you've run the report, you can print it, write your codes and send it to your billing agent. Let's do a quick demo. I am making this video quickly. This is not final. I just wanted to show you a quick peek into how the reports will look like for billing. Now, first, please keep a list of stickers, especially early on, just to make sure that our reports are correct, because we can't really test those until we have uh, enough patients and data actually in the system. So this is in the test environment. So there is some data and I'm going to show you how to get there. This is your tracker. You're going to look for this button that says discern reporting portal. When you open it, it will open all the possible reports available to you. Now, I have them favored here, the ones for billing, but I'm going to show you how to do that first. You're going to go and into all and to into published because that's what you can see. And you could go into physician and in physician, we have put them at the top. The category is billing. And this is probably the most important one is its relationship. You favorite that I favorite all of them. So when I first log in and I'm seeing all my, all the reports, there's 1100 reports you can run. The relationship list is the one you're going to use most open it and run it. This is everyone you've signed on and off during a time period. Uh, usually begin the dates of your shift. I'm going to go a few days back only because there aren't many patients in the system. Let's go back to last Sunday and this will show me all these patients. And this is already a printable report. You see here patient's name, OHIP card category. So this will show up if they are workers compensation or another province or out of country. You also see the sex on the card and the date of birth. And you see also the diagnosis here. This is when your relationship started with them. When it ended, this is a space for you to write your codes. So you print this, you write your codes, and then you get them to your billing agent. Uh, there will be some changes in the layout. There'll be changes in the name, but I just wanted to show you the basics of how to get this report. I will make a full video once I have more information. Remember that you can always access the patient's chart if you need to remember what you did for them and look at your reports. If you are still signed up for the patients, they'll be under my patients here, uh, but usually they won't. So they'll be in the checkout tab. Uh, these are the patients that have been checked out. Let me see if there's anybody. Nobody's checked out here because this database is empty. You can, of course, always search for the patient by name or by MRN, which is medical record number. You can change that from here or by, by visit number. So there you go. Thank you. I will redo this video once I have a better version. Thanks again for your time.